no matter where, of comfort, no man speak. Let's talk of graves, of worms and epitaphs, make dust our paper, and with rainy eyes, write sorrow on the bosom of the earth. Let's choose executors and talk of wills. And yet, not so, for what can we bequeath save our deposed bodies to the ground? Our lands, our lives, and all of Bolingbroke's. And nothing may we call our own but death. That small model of the barren earth which serves as paste and cover to our bones. For God's sake, let us sit upon the ground and tell sad stories of the better king. How some have been deposed, some slain in war, some haunted by the ghosts they have deposed, some sleeping, some poisoned by their wives, some sleeping killed, all murdered, for within the hollow crown that rounds the mortal temples of a king keeps death his course, and there the antic sits, scoffing his state and grinning at his pond, <coughs> allowing him a breath, a little scene, some monarchies, be feared, and kill with looks, infusing him with a self and vain conceit as if this flesh which walls about our lives were brass, impregnable. And humid thus comes at the last, and with a little pin bores through his castle wall. And farewell, <coughs> king. Cover your head, and mock not flesh and blood with solemn reverence. Throw away respect, tradition, form, and ceremonious duty. For you have but mistook me all this while. I live with bread like you, feel want, taste grief, need friends. Subjected thus, how can you say to me, I am a king?